Dr. Mulder is known to many of us here at Grand Rapids Community College as the inspiration behind many college programs that we continue to benefit from even today. The GRCC Alumni Association, the college's cable television channel, the IIPD grants enjoyed today by many faculty for professional development, all are a result of Anne's determination while she was here at GRCC. Fred Sabolski, director of Actors Theater and former director of the college's theater program says, I owe most of my career in theater to Anne's frequent nurturing, encouraging, and when none of those worked, nudging, pushing, and shoving. <laughs> I owe her a great deal of gratitude. Currently serving as interim dean of the School of Education at Grand Valley State University, Anne left GRCC in 1985 to become president of Lake Michigan College. It seems fitting that a woman who began her vocation as a teacher should now be helping in the preparation of a new generation of classroom teachers. Anne herself identifies with the care and compassion model with those skills, she believes, a leader can move the universe and create miracles. A colleague writes, if you are among the fortunate, your path will cross hers. You'll feel the magnetism, sense her caring, and be enveloped by her desire to help. Anne E. Mulder, ladies and gentlemen, a woman of energy and substance. Juan, thank you so much. I will not be as eloquent as Carol. Uh, she, I may be funny, though. <laughs> I said I was going to uh, ask everybody to come up that I had done something with, and they said, oh, don't embarrass us. And I said, what's new? <laughs> you know, that's I do want you to know that I walk back into my life today when I walk back into this room. Because truly, I began here at this college. Um, actually, as I said, I came here um, in 1959. I was a size six. <laughs> <laughs> I stand before you a size 12 on a good day. <laughs> I look across this room, and I see the faces of those who have made an incredible difference in my life as well. One of the things I have really come to understand is that no woman is an island. We really are engaged in a wonderful journey together, in a wonderful journey that has led us into marvelous connections that surround us in incredible and wonderful ways. It was here in this college that I learned so many things that have led me on in my own professional career. I have learned, for, the one, for one thing, that students are central to our focus, and that what we need to do is be always committed to that mission. And it was wonderful today to see someone like Beth Foster, who actually was my first uh, student, uh, one of my first students when I was the first director of student activities. That's how far back we go. <laughs> that faculty truly matter. I was so engaged in the process of IIPD because that was an important piece. And tell Bob Long that I noticed that he was not here today. <laughs> <laughs> he helped me. That making a difference matters. But making a difference means that there are incredible people who help you along the way. And forever and forever, I will remember the brave and wonderful women in the continuing ed office. Occasionally, we allowed Ray Boozer, Bob Wetman, and Cedric Ward to say something, <laughs> but only occasionally. And I remember forever the face of two women that have really marked my career. They were the best two people I ever hired in the world. And that was Patty Gunn and Pat Alt. They remain today two of my closest friends. That innovation and creativity really matter in what you do. And I look at Tina Lockwood, and I know full well what we did together. And speaking of Corky, we just charged things and told him later. So <laughs> it was nice you were respectful, because I never was. <laughs> so, and that it is important always to challenge the process and to push the envelope. And I look at Fred, because I know what we built together with Actors Theater. And may it long reign and be wonderful. And I look forever in the faces and in the legacy of those who stand in this room, 
of Elvie, um, a, a, a Helen, a past, a present, a future, that are all here, Judy, Joyce, all of you are here, and some of my colleagues who came today from Grand Valley. Thank you, Cindy, and thank you in the back, Bonnie and Aaron. I appreciate that. Uh, my life has come full circle. I said to Bob Partridge, you've given me every honor this college can have except a parcel of ground and a statue. And so <laughs> that's OK. But I appreciate so much, and I must say that the great thing about this community college and about so many community colleges, I may be at Grand Valley, but my heart is forever in the center of the community college. It is the great force for democratization in this country. It makes a difference in the lives of people in such incredible ways, and it is to be treasured and valued forever. And how fortunate you are to have Juan Oliveras leading that charge today. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're so proud to have you back.